What the hell are dreams, anyway? Mysteries. Incredible body hocus pocus. The truth is, we still don't know what they are or where they come from. Yeah, welcome, you guys, to the Dream Warrior segment. <laughs> If you haven't been able to guess by now, I'm a huge Nightmare on Elm Street fan. That is my all-time favorite scary movie, and Freddy Krueger is my boogeyman till I die, bitch. <clears throat> Excuse me, bitch. All right, so here's the deal. This has been my sleeping pattern lately. My cats wake me up at 3 a.m., never fails, and then I can't go to bed for a while. Then once I do, well, here's what happened last night. So I'm at the house I grew up in, my mom's house. I'm in my old room getting ready for work. Then I walk through the living room to get to the garage, and as soon as I enter, water starts falling down on me, kind of like it was raining. I guess the roof was leaking. And I got mad because I had just fixed my hair and everything. So I go back inside towards my room, and whip my wet hair at these two little girls that were sitting on the living room floor. I think they were guests of whoever else was in the house. And I could hear them like bitching about it when I closed my bedroom door. So then I get ready to leave. I go outside to my car where I see a classic Ford Bronco parked where my car should be. And it was a very light blue color and dirty, like a faded light blue. So then I suddenly remember that my car didn't work the night before after my gig and I had to leave it wherever I was gigging. So I'm mad again that I don't have my car. So I'm trying to get into the Bronco and I have to get into it using the back window because the door was broken. It was a two door. So as I'm getting into the Bronco or crawling in there, these two like 11 year old neighborhood boys are breaking into the Bronco through the driver's side. They didn't even see me getting into the car and they were talking about all the stuff to take from it. And I'm like, get the hell out of this car. Are you kidding me? And they weren't even scared of me. So that made me more upset. The one boy kept trying to steal from the car as I was scolding him. They finally left and I drove towards the end of the street and I was looking at on coming cars that were coming from my left because I wanted to turn right. So anyway, there's a car coming that seemed far enough away that I started to turn right out of my street and the freaking Bronco wouldn't accelerate fast enough. So I tried to do a UE and got hit by the oncoming car from my left. And then I saw that the car spun and then stopped and the driver immediately gets out of the car and starts walking over to the Bronco that I'm in. And right when he gets there, I start explaining the bad morning I was having. This wasn't my car. The two boys just tried to break into it, blah, blah, blah. The man held up his hands like he was saying like like he was trying to calm me down like okay okay and I started crying as I'm venting and the words are so hard to get out it's I know you've been there okay so then the dream changed and this is where it gets interesting this doesn't happen very often but every now and then I get to this state where I'm half in the dream world and half in the real world it's like the middle ground between asleep and awake and it reminds me of the twilight zone that opening monologue I'm always like yes I know that feeling It's this sense where I know that I could stop the dream if I wanted to. It's a state of awareness, and I know that the dream is about to get scary as hell, but a big part of me doesn't want to wake up yet because I want to experience it. No matter how dark it gets, I just want to ride it out because it's a rare happening. You know, it's like hallucinating. Does anyone know this feeling that I'm talking about, or am I crazy? Sometimes it comes in a form of like, um, like you're paralyzed, like you can't move, but you can see what's going on, you know? But that wasn't the case this time. Okay, so I'm I'm back at my mom house I'm in the garage and I close the kitchen door that leads to the garage and I sit on the garage floor facing the kitchen door that I just closed all right so all of a sudden I hear this big horde of beetles that are about to come in from the big garage carport door you know what I'm talking about the sound was so loud and creepy and gross and these were the ancient Egyptian like flesh eating beetles from the mummy you remember those there's also this dirty white like undead rabbit that's in my garage too he's coming in with all the the beetles and everything I think it was like a zombie rabbit or something And the rabbit had this ugly growl or snarl. And I told myself, this is bizarre because you're dreaming, right? But I told myself, remember that noise so you can talk about it later. And I forgot what it sounded like. So that sucks. So they're all coming towards me so fast, right? And this is the point where my body feels the most scared. And I know I could wake myself up if I want to, but I don't. Instead, I, I shoot my hands in front of me and use my mind to push them away. So I felt like a witch, you know what I mean? And then they kept coming back faster and faster. And they almost touched my skin right so it's getting close and my mind wasn't pushing them away fast enough like I was losing my power or my power was stalling so then my dream kind of I float back to where 
where my body is, right? I'm lying in bed and I'm still in that limbo state of mind where I can see that I'm awake but asleep at the same time. And I'm facing Raul and I'm staring at his shoulder in real life. But then these markings start appearing on his shoulder that keep changing numbers and symbols. It felt so crazy. The numbers were like shape shifting. And I was telling myself, remember these numbers. It's like I was trying to document everything so that I could record it later. Man, seeing the markings and numbers and the symbols change, I could feel it like in my body. I'm telling you, it's like a body high that I can't describe. Maybe it's uh, the feeling of being on shrooms, but I haven't had those in like many, many years. So, but damn, I wish I could remember the numbers I saw. I know they were all written in black. It was like black numbers appearing and, and there was a sentence too. I saw words, but it was upside down and I couldn't read it. By the time I could, it would shift again. But yeah, man, crazy body high. And yeah, I know it doesn't seem that scary, but I was terrified last night. It was cray. It was cray cray. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in once again to my Dream Warrior segment. I'll keep trying to remember my dreams. Hopefully you guys keep tuning in. You gotta cut your fingernails. You gotta stop that kind of dreaming. One or the other.